Hi friends, Dirk here and today we're looking at the Arfa D24, a dual channel dash cam that records 4K in the front and 1080p in the back. As you can see, I already installed it in my car, but I also will show you the unboxing. We'll take a look at the app and then I'll show you image quality and footage by day and also by night. In the box we find the camera and of course we have a very curious cat. Here's an extra adhesive patch in case we want to reinstall it. And here is the original camera mount. We do get a USB to USB-C cable. The power adapter. Here we have tools and hooks for cable management. This is a spare mount and plate for the camera. And here we have the rear view camera that is directly attached to a very long cable. These are adhesive films that go directly on the windshield or the rear window. Here's our manual. And this is the star of the show, our camera. On the left side we have the slot for the micro SD card that is already included with 64 GB of storage. On top is the connector for the windshield mount on the left side we can connect our rear view camera and on the right side we have a USB-C port to power the dash cam. Because we're connecting the cables on top of the dash cam it makes sense to connect the rear view camera and the power cable before installing the dash cam to the windshield. All I need to do now is to peel off the protection film and to press my dash cam against the pre-installed adhesive layer. Now it's time to adjust the angle of the dash cam and to route the cable so that it doesn't bother us. Also the rear view camera has a 3M tape, so it's easy to press it against the pre-installed protection film on the window. Now it's time to rotate it so we can adjust the right angle. When powering on for the very first time, we can see that it's a nice, well-readable color display. In fact, the display is a nice touchscreen, so we can operate the entire dash cam from here. Since there is an app available, that makes things so much more easy and convenient. If you don't have the app already, simply scan the QR code in the manual. Go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and join the D24 network. The top secret passcode is 12345678. Once you're in the network, go to your Alpha Vision app and now you can connect to your dash cam. Click on check real-time video and you're connected. After you stop recording, you can change the settings by pressing the gear wheel top right. Here everything is pretty much self-explaining. You simply tap on the functions and you can customize this dash cam the way you like it. When you're using it for the very first time, it's always a good idea to format the already installed micro SD card. Here I'm using the app to rotate the rear view camera, as you could see before the picture was upside down. Here you have your dash cam album, so you can always download or watch the footage. Hopefully you never need it, but you could prove what happened on the spot. And now it's time for me to show you some footage by day, 4K front, 1080p in the back.
And with the same resolution I'm showing you some nighttime footage, again 4K front, 1080p in the rear. Now after watching the review, what are your thoughts on the Arfa D24? Is this a camera system that you would install in your car? Let me know in the comments below, I'll definitely respond. Also if you have questions, I am available and I'm ready to chat. If you like this video, a free way to support my channel would be to leave a like. And if you like my channel overall, please consider to subscribe, I would really appreciate this. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.